Well, hey there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for the week of December 20th. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. Specifically, hit up your Venus sign, which is relationships, or your moon sign, which is emotions. If you are a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here could be flip flopped or vice versa. Just go ahead and assign the roles as they make sense to you. I won't be doing private readings for this week and next week, although I will continue to post here on YouTube, but you can click the join button down below if you would like to get the extended reading. Um, it's $9.99 and you get all of the extended readings for every single reading I do here on YouTube. All right, so we're looking at the overall energy here. I'm going to pull cards for your person. I'm going to pull cards for you and then clarify everything. Um, from what I can tell here, you have new love. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, for some of you, you'll be like, no, I haven't met anyone. Well, this could be a predictive reading. It could be a reading... Um, where you've just met someone or you're about to meet someone. So I want you to keep that in mind. We have abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. And that's also important. It's very magician energy for me. Be very intentional with your words and your thoughts and your deeds. We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, that's kind of echoed for me with the eight of wands here. This is going to be like a lightning bolt to the heart. Okay. We have the ace of cups, which is a new love cycle. It's also falling deep for a person, like falling really deeply in love. Um, the eight of wands can talk about passion, uh, excitement. Uh, it also is about speed, but that ace of cups is very much a heart centered card can see the little heart there in the middle of that um, that cup. Cups are about water. They're about emotion, relationships, intuition. You're just going to know that this person feels right to you. There's something about this connection that just makes sense to you. We've got the Ace of Swords. It's also something coming in hot and fast. Uh, it's a revelation. You may just suddenly meet this person and it feels like you've known them a thousand years. It's it's really an intense connection that's coming in for some of you. We have, I'm so attracted to you and just being near you is intoxicating. So yeah, this is like a heavy emotional energy. This is falling pretty deep and hard for someone. So let's check out this person and see what's up. Oh, so hello intensity here. Um, we have the lovers showing up. This is major arcana for Gemini, but it's also a very deep connection. It's a soulmate. It's falling for a person pretty fast and hard. Um, I think of it as the courtship stage where you can't sleep and you can't think and you can't eat. It's all about this person. Whoever this is, you're going to fall fast and hard for them. You can see the Merkaba. It's that six-pointed star that's between their foreheads. That is a the Jewish symbol for the soul. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. And that's, it's destiny, it's fate, it's good luck, good fortune. This is happening, and it's meant to happen, basically. This is part of your path. Ace of Wands, a brand new start. Um, also, wands are fast moving energy. This is happening fast if this is happening for you. Uh, Ace of Wands is taking action. It's passion, excitement, a reason to get out of bed. Um, someone pursuing you, taking action towards you. Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. This person could potentially be a fire sign. Um they can have fire in their chart. Again, I would check the moon sign. I would check the Venus sign. Um, or this is simply someone who takes action. Uh, someone who isn't interested in kind of being slow and steady here. But their intentions seem to be good. We've got the six of pentacles, which is someone giving to a situation, putting in time and effort and energy. And we've got the four of wands. That is... 
it's taking your relationship to the next level. It's also feeling at home with someone. Uh, for some of you, you may be meeting this person like at home um, in your hometown or at a celebration that you're going to, if you're going to like a holiday party or something. Um, keep an eye out for someone. Also, we have a full moon tonight in Gemini. And if I were you, I would maybe set some intentions for meeting someone. Um, a full moon is a great time to release something too. So if there is something holding you back, I would let it go. Let's learn a little bit more about this person. So tell me about this person. Who are they? What do they want? No kidding. <laughs> the lovers, Gemini energy, an intense relationship, coming on fast, coming in hot. Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a sense of loss or lack in their life. They may have not been in a relationship for a while. For some of them, they may have had some money issues and that is ending. But I always think of the fine of, of pentacles as not having enough. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough money. Um, I don't have enough attention. I, I don't have a love in my life. This is ending a, like a season of lack for them. And I think earlier you had a card about abundance in the overall. Okay, and we've got the Justice card. More air energy here. This is Libra. This is someone, all right, the Justice card could mean balance. It can mean truth. Someone who's very ethical. It could also mean someone who works in the legal profession. This could also mean someone who has had a divorce with that Five of Pentacles and the Justice card here. We'll find out more in the extended reading who this person is. Um, let's take a look at you. So the first thing I want to flag here is look at all of these major arcana. There are big shifts in energy here. We have the fool. The fool is Aries energy and it's a fresh start. It's taking a risk, taking a leap, trusting in the universe here. Um, this definitely, it feels like you're just kind of going over head first here. Um, I'm going to take a leap on this relationship and see what happens. The Fool is the first card in the Major Arcana. Um, let me show you. See the little zero next to it? It's card number zero. It's the beginning. It's a new chapter in your life. You're starting over here, trusting in the universe. Um We've got the star, which is beautiful energy. It's Aquarius. It's being wishful, being hopeful, manifesting. Definitely tonight, like do me a favor and just say, you know what? I'm open to love, whatever you want to do. We've got a full moon. Take advantage of it, okay? We have the hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So for some of you, you have been alone for a while, um, you've been withdrawn from a relationship. Possible that you were in one with a Virgo. That's possible. The hermit in reverse is kind of coming out of that cave. Uh, I think of the hermit as self-reflection, a growth, consulting with your higher self, um, maybe listening to a mentor, maybe going through counseling, um, just a period of kind of quiet reflection. And I think you're emerging I don't know, better, healthier, ready for something new in your life. 
like you're going to have a commitment to this person if this is your reading. We've got the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. The Hierophant is structure, um, structure in a relationship, structure in society. It's religion, politics, education, the family unit, um, marriage. It, it's really a commitment of some sort, particularly when it's showing up with the Ten of Pentacles here. That is a, a very long-term card. It's living with someone, sharing your resources, your bank account, um, having a mortgage with the person, taking care of the dogs and the children and the old folks. And it's really being in someone's life for the long haul. The Two of Cups is at its heart a partnership card. It's meeting someone who's equally invested. You're offering a cup. They're offering a cup. I love how their hands are entwined. Um, you know, I've got you. We've got this together. We're in this together. It doesn't have to necessarily mean a romantic energy here, but for a lot of you, this is like a marriage, um, uh, an engagement, living with someone, a partnership that's going to last a very long time. So let's do some clarification here. Okay. Well, we've got the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Uh, the Six of Cups is a card of childhood. It can mean a soul tie or a soulmate, specifically when it shows up with something like the star. Um, sometimes it can mean someone from your past, but it's more like you may have had another reincarnation with this person. It feels like you've known them for a lifetime feels like you could have children with them. Um, there's a very deep kind of inexplicable connection. This is going to come out of nowhere and it's going to hit you fast. Okay. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is you. Um, possible that you're dealing with a water sign as well. I would also say the King of Cups is very open and receptive to love. So I would make sure that you're embodying that kind of energy. King of Cups is also highly intuitive. So pay attention to your intuition. Let's see if we get one more card. And let's see. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So with that Hermit energy, the Nine of Pentacles here is a very Virgo card. You may have been single for quite a while and maybe you're ready for a relationship. Um, you may be finally like, you go from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles, which is interesting. So I think this is um, having a completion of a cycle for you. Maybe you've been on your own and... Now you're ready for this relationship because it feels like a big deal in your life. All right. Um, if you want to see the extended reading, I'm going to go to that now. And I'm going to keep it a little more loose here. I just want to find out about this person and what they're bringing to your life here. You can click the join button down below. Uh, it won't show up on iPhone. You'll have to go to a desktop for that because there are shenanigans between Google and Apple. Um, it's $9.99 and you get access to all of the extended for every single reading. All right. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.